Good morning, guys. Let me turn off this air real quick so you can actually hear. So today is Friday, July 1st. We're up bright and early to get that one to a doctor's appointment and then van camp. Look at her. She looks like a little lobster. <laughs> She's very tired. Um, but we gotta hurry because, as usual, we're running behind. So, we'll update you throughout the day. We're gonna do a baby update because it's been a while. So, we'll see you later. So, we're here at the doctor's. And I'm like super proud of Abby. She just got her T-dap shot and I didn't have to hold her. It's the first shot that she's ever got without me ever having to hold her. So we're moving up. We're getting there. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I feel fine. I'm good. <laughs> Look how tan she is. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> My permanent bracelet, if they can see that from here. Yeah, they could totally see that. Yeah. <laughs> So, she did good. Yay. Her arm's gonna be sore for the parade. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna wait on the doctor um, to come in and do her thing. Um, and that's about it. I think Abby's having a little issue with her asthma for band camp. Um, so, we're gonna ask about an inhaler and she thinks that maybe she might have had like a small UTI, but she feels like it's gone away. So we'll see about that because UTIs during pregnancy is very, very common. In case you've, in case you're younger and you're watching this, don't panic if you get one because it will happen eventually during the pregnancy. Um, and me and Abby both throughout our whole lives have been pretty prone to UTIs anyway. So a very common thing for us. Um, yay us so <laughs> but that's all I've got for right now until the doctor gets in here and does the checking of the belly to see where our little Oliver's at so we'll update you in a little bit there's three in the hospital that night I tried to pick a name that was that I liked that nobody else had and I love Oliver he he's getting it So, the doctor appointment went good, and now we're feeding her. <laughs> she got the biggest thing <laughs> they had on the menu. It's so funny. She got the chicken, what was it? Chicken, chicken egg, egg and cheese. cheese. <laughs> it's huge. It's as big as her face. And then she got her a little parfait. I got a chicken or a yeah, chicken egg white griller and a parfait, so... <laughs> We gotta make it happy. <laughs> hey guys, we are back home. Some time has passed. Um, I think the last time we filmed, we were still at Chick fil A and Abby ate all her food. So, <laughs> but after that, we just ran to Walmart real quick, grabbed some stuff that we needed, and came back home. And she's getting ready so I can take her to band camp. And then after that, I gotta go to Walgreens and pick up a prescription for her. And then um, I think me and Josh and Ethan are going to the mall. And we are going to grab some dinner at Charlie's Steakery because that's one of our favorites. And then we're going to try to go watch um, the new Elvis movie. So I'm a big Elvis fan. Josh and Ethan, not so much, but they're going to suffer through it just because they get Charlie's Steakery, so. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just waiting on Abby right now so I can take her up to the school so she can go to band camp, so. Good time. <laughs> Aren't you excited? Let's 
excited for the preview. The preview? Yeah, so we can see what actual good movies are coming out. <laughs> the Elvis movie has it's, been... It's going to be good, I know. Yes. Who doesn't like Elvis? Like, come on. Rude. <laughs> Yeah, somewhere on earth, at least three, minimum of three. Yeah. So, um, but if that movie, if everything that was in that movie is true, then Elvis really lived a really sad life. Like, it's super sad. It made me really want to research him and do some, like, background checking because, I mean, it was just sad. But I'm not going to say why it was sad because, I mean, if you're a true Elvis fan, then you probably already know. I I just know that I like Elvis. I've never researched him or anything. I don't know that much about him. I know his home is Graceland. I knew he was married to Priscilla, and I knew his daughter was Lisa Marie. And I like his music. Um, that's all I knew. <laughs> so, I didn't know anything about his life and the history of Elvis or anything. Um... But that made me want to learn it to see how much of that movie is actually accurate. So, I don't know. Go see the movie. Right? Mm. Right. <laughs> but we're now on our way home. Um, it looks like Kingsport is getting ready for tomorrow. They're doing their 4th of July celebration um, on the 2nd. I'm not sure why. Makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't make very much sense. Um, but they're doing all of their stuff on the 2nd. So, like, we're driving down Center Street now. And, like, they've got all the flags up. They had the stage set up where they judge the floats. Um, so, that's cool. But, yeah, their parade is tomorrow. And their fireworks and concerts and all that downtown are, is tomorrow. Um, I, don't, I don't think we're going to that. I don't. I don't no. want to go to that. No. I'd like to see the parade, but he's not into parades. Yeah, the parade sucks because every year it's nothing but politicians on floats. <laughs> That's all it is. There's no, and they don't make real floats. They're in their trucks with a magnet on it and some balloons. I. It's not a real parade anymore. It's, That's true. It's just politicians going. Here's my walking billboard. Yeah, basically. I mean, the Fourth of July parade. And Kingsport has sucked for the last 10 years and I'm not going to sugarcoat it because it does. It sucks. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. I, w I agree with that. I just like going just because it's been a tradition like in our family for a long time. In my family. Um, 
not mine. No. My family didn't like going to it either because it <laughs> sucked. It's terrible. It's not always been that way, though. For a long time, it's been that way. Our family would always, our church had like the buses and a big truck. Um, it was a big flatbed truck and they turned it into like a boxed in, almost like a stage. So all the family members that were all the, all the family members, we were basically family members. <laughs> um, but all of the church members that liked to sing um, and could stand easily would get in the back of the truck and we would sing and the and brother Johnny the preacher would preach all the way down the parade route and then we had people who walked the whole parade route and handed out um, tracks I don't know if a lot of few people know what what um, tracks are um, but they handed out tracks they're like little pamphlets that would tell you about um, the religion and everything about the Bible stories in the Bible getting saved um, but if you're from the south you probably know what a track is from a church uh, but the other church members that couldn't walk but wanted to like sit um, they would ride in the buses or in the vans and they'd pull down the window and they'd wave and kind of sing along and uh, we just had a great time doing that we done it for years and I think they still actually get the big truck out they don't have the vans anymore because you know the church is getting smaller because most of the members are elderly a lot of them's passed um, but they're trying to build the church back up they're actually renovating the church my dad still goes there and a couple of my aunts still go to that church um, and they're renovating it my dad does the maintenance for the church so he's up there a lot all the time bless his heart um, and trying to work on it and everything he truly puts all of his effort <laughs> into the church which I mean you know that's good for him so a uh, little change of plans we dropped Ethan off and Josh decided he wants to go take a sunset down at Clinch River so we're now in Rogersville Stopping to get something to eat. Where do you want, by the way? Uh, Bad time for you to film. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just a hot dog plate with ketchup. Nobody get mad because I like ketchup on my hot We did just eat at Charlie's. Josh only got fries at Charlie's. But that was like five hours ago. True. He still only got fries at Charlie's. Mm -hmm. And now he's getting a sauce bread with cheese. Yes, yeah, so you can show the sauce bread with cheese off. And what else did you get? A chili bun, no onion, extra mustard. Oh, okay. And I got a hot dog plain with extra ketchup. Because I'm still kind of full from Charlie's. I didn't even eat all of my sandwich at Charlie's. I always get a small sandwich at Charlie's, but I can never finish it. Like, they're huge. For me, I think. Ethan devoured a regular size, so. But that kid can put away some food and still look like a skinny little skeleton, so. Yep. He sucks. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, us over here, just, you know, a little snack here and there. We look like, or, yeah, you see how we look. <laughs> so, It is really good, but I've got on a cream-colored shirt, 
and I did not want to be bothered by that today because <laughs> it is really messy but we're headed to the clinch because of these clouds mm -hmm. so it's probably going to be a really pretty sunset as long as the clouds are where we're going to we're not open yeah so you can see the sun's like making those clouds pretty right now too that we went over is where we're going? Yeah, that's where I'm taking a picture. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll be there in just a minute. We're not far from there. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're at the sunset spot. So he says. It smells kind of gross, to be honest. It smells like manure. But that could be because of the farm that's setting over here so might be a good reason Could have parked right there. <laughs> That's right. Ah, oh, this guy. It's got some pretty sun rays up here. Oh, yeah. I need all that to go down that way. He said he needed all of this to go down there. Something tells me it's not going to move that way. Because it looks like it's moving the opposite way. Yeah. It's okay because when we walk back that way, 
I might get something with that. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Here's a red winged blackbird. A red winged blackbird. Cool. It's what is in the opening of the new uh, the new movie you want to see with the three witches. Oh, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. I was open, like, yeah, they open with a red winged blackbird. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm super excited for that movie. We kept something for you, that way. Okay. He just said that we're now going to get in the car. Yeah. And go somewhere else after yeah. he made me walk all this yeah. way. Well, you'll be quick. So. We're going to be quick. Okay. Let's, let's walk fast because. I ain't running. If you see me running, you better run too, cause something's chasing me. So, back to the car we go. We did not get a sunset. Nah, couldn't get to the place I wanted in town. Yeah, and there was a storm coming too, so, or rain riding the mountains. We're now on a different adventure, though. <laughs> yes, we done a coin toss. We've seen so many deer. Well, we're in their neighborhood. Yeah, and so many lightning bugs. They're everywhere. But we did a coin toss. So we did, what was it? Heads, we would go right, right. at the end of this road or tails, we would go left at the end of this road. It was on tails. So we're going left, which is towards... The Cumberland Gap. Yes. So if we would have went right, we would have went through Pennington Gap, Dufffield, and then up to Gate City, and then through Kingsport. Yeah. Sorry it's so dark. I don't know where the lights are. We're in his car. I don't know. No, hold on. We don't drive this one often. Well, you don't. I do. Well, he does. I don't ride in here often. Um, so I can't find anything. I was reaching right here where mine is. It's not... Not there. There's nothing there. It's just silly. Um, so we're going to the Cumberland Gap to uh, see the soda shop. Cumberland Gap's a cool little town. Yeah. So. Well, we're going to go see what catches my eye because I've got my Polaroid with me. It's the new one. So it's got a tripod mount, and I might do some of that, and I might do some with my digital too. I don't know. I, we're, we have nothing else to do. Nowhere to be. Nothing. We used to do stuff like this all the time, and I. I mean, our lives just got busy after the pandemic. Um, you know, the pandemic started, so we stopped going anywhere. And then after the pandemic, we've just been so, so very busy with everything. Um, so, you know, we dropped Ethan off tonight, and it was like, hey, let's I don't do want to stay home. Yeah, we just don't want to stay home. I mean, we've got a four day weekend. It's our anniversary weekend, so here we are. Riding the back roads. Just riding the back roads, which we both really love. Um, so if you all like these kind of videos, just these random drive-alongs, ride-alongs, whatever you want to call it, I like ride -alongs. let us know. I think it would be fun to do an episode of where we just went based on coin tosses. Yeah. And see where we end up. That would be fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, whenever we get to the Cumberland Gap, I will show you what's going on. Uh, it's a tiny town. There might not be nothing going on, but yeah. we'll go up to Tazewell. Uh, there's a nice old 50s soda pop shop there that's got some nice neon. And then there's an old gas station they light up to. And then we can go up to Morristown if we wanted to. Yeah. So, and yeah. then come home. So, yeah. no rhyme or reason. Yeah. So, stay tuned. Let's see where we go.
opposite way. I was thinking Harrogate. So but. we were in Tennessee where we live. Right. Virginia and now Kentucky. Yeah. So just a little bit of every place. That's the good place about where we live. Yeah, or we the can, good thing about where we live. We can be in Virginia and Kentucky in 10, 30 minutes. Yeah. And then we could be in North Carolina in 45. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. A lot of people dog on our area, but it's actually a pretty nice area to live. Yep. Um, that's why we like it. Even though we always say we want to move to North Carolina. <laughs> we've lived in Virginia, we've lived in Tennessee, but we've always wanted to move to North Carolina. One day, who knows what we'll end up doing. But we're going to see what's going on in Middlesbrough tonight at 10 o'clock. Probably nothing. Probably absolutely nothing. We drove through Jonesville completely dead. <laughs> And that was earlier, so who knows what's going on down here in Middlesbrough. So, let's see. Let's go. We've made a pit stop because <laughs> we couldn't resist. Actually, we needed to pee. So, we're still in Middlesbrough. We are now at a McDonald's <laughs> eating again. <laughs> mm -hmm. This video has turned into how much can we eat tonight? So we're splitting a 20 piece McNugget. His go to is always barbecue sauce, and I love sweet and sour. So that's what we're doing. Yum, yum. You always feel me while I'm eating. <laughs> we just finished our McNuggets. Now we're driving back towards downtown Meadowsboro. I gotta say, that McDonald's is the cleanest, the absolute cleanest, and maybe some of the most friendliest. At least they were really friendly to me. Yeah, me too. Okay, so some of the most friendly and cleanest McDonald's we've ever been in. It's the Middlesbrough McDonald's across from the hospital. They have two McDonald's here. There's one up on like the main strip. I don't think I've been in it. Mm -hmm. I've driven through it a couple times. And yeah, but that one was sp like sparkling, but it is almost time for them to close, so they've probably already cleaned the whole thing, but still, A+. plus. Good job, Middlesbrough Hospital McDonald's. <laughs> He put, put them in the visor to, you know, not get, what, overexposed? Yeah. And this man, this love of my life, as we're driving down the road with the window down on his side, decides to reach and get these pictures. Oh, it's going to get ran over right here. And they <laughs> blown out his window. One of them. Just one. But he doesn't know which one was the better one. So now. Yep. Run out in the middle of the road to get the pictures. That's been run over. How bad is it? Um. I mean, it's ran over. <laughs> but I think it's okay. I guess we'll see how that turns out. Are you like overexposing them now? With the no, lights? no, they're fine now. Oh, 
I'm going back to reshoot that one. <laughs> well, here, here we go. All right. Um, oh God, on this road again. I'm gonna go all the way up this time, not down the alley. <laughs> he tried to kill me down the alleyway. My back's been messed up all week and he takes me down the roughest alley he can find and runs over the curb. All of it. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I go through, people. It's all right, it's part of the adventure, right? Right. Well, guys, we drove through Taswell. Josh stopped and took a picture of another neon sign. Mm -hmm. um, and then we started up Clinch Mountain, and now we're up here at the Veterans Memorial. I can't remember what exactly it's called. Yeah, it's the uh, memorial overlook. Yeah, on top of Clinch Mountain. We came up here because... Like I said earlier, there was like a storm moving through and we've seen some lightning. So he wanted to come up here and see if uh, we could see any lightning up here. But I think the storm's done passed through and it's gone. The stars are out. Um, but we're not going to stop and get out or anything. There's a couple of people up there, I think, sleeping in their cars. Yeah. Um, so we didn't want to bother anybody and there wasn't really anything was interested in taking a picture of anyway so we just drove through and now we've left um, we're heading home we're about 45 minutes from it yeah and there's nothing between here and the house that you can see in the dark anyway so yeah. we're gonna go ahead and end the video now yep. <laughs> thank you if you made it through this whole video I applaud you because I've literally been filming since 7.30 this morning. Impromptu stuff happened and... Yeah. And uh, it's now 11.39 at night. It has been a long day. I never intended for this video to be this long. I literally just thought this was going to be a baby update. Um, and it turned into this. So... You're welcome if you like that kind of thing. I'm sorry if you don't, but thanks for watching anyway. Yep. <laughs> uh, we're forget, going home. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Yes. Sorry, I'm tired and I can't. My head's like trying to like start hurting just where I've been up for so long. Um, so I can't think. But yes, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff, guys. We love you and good night. We're home asleep. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go see our kitty baby.